Behold, the Pentium Pro, a processor so powerful, so advanced for its time, it was like Intel took a look at the Pentium, cracked its knuckles and said, nah, let's make something really over-engineered. And what do I have here? Not one, not two, but three brand new sealed Pentium Pros. That's right, these bad boys are as untouched as my high school love life. Look at them, pristine, unopened, pure, unlike my browser history. The Pentium Pro was the 90s ultimate flex. Designed for serious workstations and servers, it was packing a massive 256 kilobyte, 512 kilobyte, or even one megabyte of L2 cache, right there on the CPU package. That was unheard of. It was like Intel just casually decided to shove an entire second processor inside the first one. Because why not? Now, the Pentium Pro wasn't exactly a casual gamer's dream. Oh no, it crushed 32-bit performance like a champ. But when it came to 16-bit, it slowed down harder than your grandpa trying to use an iPad. Which means, technically, this beast wasn't the best for gaming. But did that stop businesses from spending stupid amounts of money on them? Nope. Nearly a thousand bucks for a single CPU. Adjusted for inflation, that's like a down payment on a car. But hey, if you were rocking one of these in 96, you were basically an enterprise level baller. Now, most people might ask, why do I have three of these still sealed? And the answer is simple, I have a problem. A beautiful, silicon-based, financially irresponsible problem. Some people collect coins, stamps, or friends. But me, I collect brand new vintage processors because nothing says I make great life choices like stockpiling 30-year-old technology no one can use anymore. But let's be real, these things are sexy. Gold heat spreader, a sleek ceramic body, it's basically the James Bond of CPUs. And I could open one, but then I'd have to live with the guilt of ruining a perfectly preserved piece of history. Or should I? No, I must resist. Sealed it shall remain. For the sake of future generations who might one day discover these and whisper in awe, wow, people really wasted money on weird things in the 90s. Pentium Pro, an absolute legend, ahead of its time, expensive as hell, and now a gloriously useless but sexy relic of the past. And if you think this is bad, just wait till I show you the stack of shrink-wrapped Sound Blaster All-32 cards I'm hoarding. Come back for my next video where I'll talk about the Intel Overdrive processor. Runs all software up to 70% faster. Is it a baby? Is it a baby? My precious.